Want to see something cool? So I'm double fisting an 8-inch box this morning to give you a lesson in satisfaction. This is going to be a junction box, shuffling signals from temperature sensors and oil pressure and the stator of Site 3. It's just a waypoint on the path, a place to pull from, a chance to change from one cable to the next, a breakout box from the main conduit to the smaller ones to different places. It's sexy as stucco, pure function, nothing special. And that's dangerous when it comes to craftsmanship. Because this is where nobody is looking, and that's when we get put to the test. The level of attention and give a shit that you put into the parts that nobody will ever see are the measure of an artisan. Judge a man by how he treats the waitress, the counter clerk, the bum on the corner, the NPCs of his world that most people hold as no consequence, because that matters a lot more than you think. Don't get me wrong, I love my Wagos, and there's certainly a place for them. It would be completely competent and code compliant to lever locks this fucking box and go on with my day. But pennies worth of din rail and a handful of cheap parts will totally change the opinion of the next guy who has to wrangle the tangle of confusing cables, carrying current across the cloistered confines of cruddy crevices over to the controls cabinet. The cost is minimal, the time is trivial, but the results are wonderful. Craftsmanship is the extra 10% of your time and effort that you invest after the problem is originally solved. It's an investment to your reputation and future, and that's pretty cool.